The British Virgin Islands has a new governor. He is Augustus Gus Jasper, who replaces outgoing Governor John Duncan and will take up his appointment in August. The incoming governor worked in the UK Cabinet Office as the Director of Security and Intelligence at the National Security Secretariat from 2015 to present. He was head of drugs and alcohol and head of policing from 2009 to 2012. Other posts include private secretary to the Prime Minister from 2012 to 2014 and lead manager of children's services at the Surrey County Council. Mr. Jaspert is married to Millie Jaspert and has two children. The announcement of his appointment was made by the Foreign and Commonwealth Office on May 3. Governor Duncan will demit office with quite the parting gift for the government and people of the territory to remember him by on March 16, citing that he does not want his successor to face similar circumstances. Duncan used his constitutional power to compel the government to allocate more funds, a total of $1.8 million, which includes monies for an extradition case, a corrupt cops case, as well as for the offices of the Attorney General and Director of Public Prosecutions, in addition to the RVIPF. Governor Duncan has scolded the government for not implementing several pieces of legislation, the Freedom of Information Act, Data Protection Act, Whistleblower Act, as well as the establishment of a Human Rights Council. He argued that instead the NDP administration had its priorities wrong, concentrating on the commercial and arbitration courts over the needs of the magistrates and high courts, and in a very politically charged commentary, stated that the days of the governor participating in political gestures are over and that constitutional concessions from the United Kingdom will only be granted if certain legislative amendments are made by the BVI. Governor Duncan also ruffled feathers in the opposition of Virgin Islands Party when he revoked the appointment of Julian Fraser as opposition leader in February of this year at the request of Chairman, now opposition leader, Andrew Foy.